the drought here is so bad in the Ozarks where I live that the ground is now just desert dry and my figs are so thirsty they're not putting on any figs and uh, my muscadines are not ripening they're really really suffering my pecans have dropped their pecans my catalpas are losing it everything is just really thirsty you can see my bamboos the leaves are all just tight and um, it's it's bad look at this ground it's really dry it's so bad I can't believe it and I had to just take down my garden yesterday I gave up on it gave up my grass is not growing anywhere Let's see my garden this is a roost out garden it's just worthless it's a failure complete failure total failure so dry just look at that I mean, how do you grow anything without rain you don't but I gotta say the Matt's Wild Cherries, they're just a tomato that's really small. They did fine. They made fruit. They're the only tomato I did any good with. My okra, it dried up. That's how dry it was. And my kale, it's still sticking around barely. Some of them that haven't died off. I just hope it makes it to where we get rain. But we've had no rain in this area to even mention for at least... Well, I guess we got some in April. That was it. I can't really remember it's been so long. But I've planted my pastures and the seeds were supposed to have already been growing really well by now. and They're totally dried up. My Vitexes, they bloomed. But look at them. They're very, very dry. Very, very dry. My pears didn't make any fruit this year because we had a late freeze and just when the little tiny pears were on they got hit so they dropped. Well, the birds are here. They're little tiny when there's a hummingbird up there but there's a lot of birds because I've got a lot of grasshoppers during this drought. Watch out deer. Oh I don't want the deer to run over there because that's where the bow hunter is really worried about that don't go over there please uh, it's okay stay here it's just me anyway I don't have any pecan trees that have anything growing on them it's that bad it's really bad and I was expecting a really good nut harvest and I'm not gonna get one even my chestnuts have dropped even my chestnuts and they've given me fruit every single year not this year my Asian pears even though it's dry they're still getting fire blight it's amazing it's weird fire blight's a disease that there's no cure for generally comes from over fertilization and I've not done that. I don't fertilize these pears ever. I know better. Don't run. Anyhow, this cypress would really make some good wood because it's got to be 30 feet tall and it's only 10 years old. Well, maybe, maybe 12. They grow fast. Little babies. They'll be bow hunting legally in just a month, another month. And they're going to have no mamas. Good girls. Anyhow, my pond has all dried up. See, it looks really lush, but there's no water. And it's so weird. 
but there's lots of little baby frogs still making it around the pond. I'm hoping we get rain tonight. There's a little water in the bottom. That's bad, that's pathetic. Just down to the bottom of the spring. Oh, there's a little water snake. I wonder what kind that is. What kind of water snake we got there? Um, it's gonna go up on the bank. Can't see it. It's just a harmless water snake. This is called duck potato. And you can eat the, the little things on the bottom of it, the bulbs. This is Huzu bamboo. I've already shown this before. And it's so thirsty. So thirsty. Oh yeah, the only thing that isn't dropping its nuts is... The, even the acorns are dropping their nuts, but these hazelnuts, they like water, they like to grow in around stream beds and everything. But for some reason, they still have their nuts on them. It's amazing. Well, they're not doing so well. They too are dropping their nuts early. My mistake. My mistake. That's all brown. There's nothing in there. But yeah, they're a failure too. They're even uh, putting on male anthers, which is very weird, or whatever you call those, because this is the wrong time of year for that, on that tree. But it's covered in nuts, and normally they would be bigger by now, but without rain, they're, do they're not doing anything. The blackberries were okay this year. I have done well with them, but they're over by now. Anyway, still got some pecans on the trees, but they're really not going to do anything this year. They're just too small. I don't think they'll mature. There's not enough moisture. But look at this garden. It's just had it. Everything is useless. And my strawberries, they're about to die. Can't believe it. It's just terrible. Look at the wilt on that BB tree. Wait till you see this. Wait till you see the bayou. Such a long walk. I'm just gonna go ahead and film it on the way there. Just look at this ground. It's just dust. This is how I separate my pastures with one strand of barbed wire. That way the horses always get new pasture. But it's not doing me too good this time. This is the worst year I've ever had in my life for rainfall. I got no rain this year. It all just went around me. Or vanished when it went over my house. It's weird. And see the creek is dry. There's really nothing in it. It's not flowing. This is the only pool of water I've got. It's all dried up. It stops right there. It's bad. Just very bad. A lone morning dove. Bad sign. They mate for life. Somebody obviously shot its mate. That's it for it. If the passenger pigeon ever tries to come back or there's any left, since there's an open dove season every year, it'll never make it. It'll get shot. Well, that tree's dead. The wild grapes, how are they doing? Still got some fruit of the wild grape. That's good. At least they're hanging on. They should be ripening if they get some rain. I'm still hoping maybe it'll rain tonight. 
save something. I don't know. Look at the autumn olives. Even they are dried up and thirsty. And they were reliable fruit for the birds and the animals. Their little fruits turn reddish orange when they're ripe. And they're just covered in the tree. But they should be ripening probably very, very soon, but without water they can't. Even my, uh, my crab apples dying, turning yellow. See that brown on that pear is fire blight. And pears usually have it. That's why you don't want to prune them because it makes them grow too fast and you don't want to fertilize them. Fire blight affects fast growing growth. And it's so weird that I've got it really bad this year. My asparagus is really dry. This is bamboo. I really love the bamboo. It's been here for a long time. It's very beneficial to birds and stuff. But it never gets to move out any farther than that. As the animals always eat it now that they know about it. Anyway, this asparagus is doing very, very poorly. Just look at it. It's lost all of its foliage. And it's, at least this one's got some fruit on it. But look at it. It's just barely alive. Look at this ground. Just letting you know how bad it is out here in this drought infected mountain. It's really, really bad. And we're still, all year now, just dust. Dust. Just, just dust. That's it. Just gonna get off of this.